Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. I'm back. So anyways, I'm doing something different to show you today. I started one side because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. This is actually a purse. And you tape the whole thing. It's wooden. And then you only do the sides. And when the sides are dry, I'm going to resin them. So after I'm all finished uh, with this and I resin them, I'll show you. Now, I'm sure both sides aren't going to turn out exactly the same. But we're going to try to get close. So, my colors that I'm using, if I remember, I didn't write them down. It's Phalo Blue by Arteza. It's Iridescent Blue Green by PBO. Titanium White by Arteza. Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And then my Gold by Arteza. Now when you uh, do these, if you do them, make sure that you have the tape right on the edges. And I, I put like a couple uh, rows and I really uh, put them down tight so it wouldn't leak. Now I'm not too sure here, hopefully it didn't, but I had another thing underneath and here's the handle. So that's why it's sticking up. I should have taken the handle off or I should have had Phil take the handle off. But- Oh, I'm sure I can handle it. Oh God, here we go again. <laughs> Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna put a base on here, which is my Floatrol. And thanks for all of the really wonderful comments uh, that you left about Phil's video. I, we had so much fun doing that. We're still laughing. I mean, when he didn't know how to work that torch, oh, I thought I was gonna wet my pants. Oh. You know, he always says, oh, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do that. And then he has so much fun doing it. It's like, okay. Ah! Okay. Phil, you want a torch? <laughs> you know how to use it now. <laughs> I'm going to pop all my bubbles. And hopefully this turns out. If it doesn't, well, I guess I don't use it going out to dinner. Okay, so here we go. It's just gonna be a puddle pour. Like I said, I hope. Well, if it's ugly, nobody will want to steal it. So you're. Oh, that's fine. true. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh, there's some red in there now. See, that's not good. Oh. Well, I guess it'll just add a little bit. And here we go with this. Okay, now. Gonna go around it, blow over it, and hopefully it'll be pretty, but who knows. Probably get more cells on this side than the other side, who knows. Are you going to blow it all the way to the edge on this Yeah, the I did. Okay. Yeah, I did like the other side okay. too. Hey, mine's moving unlike yours yesterday. <laughs> well, you're full of hot air, so. Well, you ain't going to take no back seat, baby. Turned out very nice. Yeah, it did. It's 
pretty. Did you want to get that corner? Well, I suppose I should. I think you should. Some more of my unsolicited advice. Maybe you better use the leaf blower. Yeah, I probably should use it a little. Just to get that corner over there, and I think. Oh, that's as close as we're yeah, going to get. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's good. Hey, it's pretty. Yeah. Good up here. I'm going to be really interested to see when you wonder up the money what it's going to look like. Well, if it looks decent. If only one side looks good, you just always hold it to that side. <laughs> what you do if only one side looks good. You paint the entire thing one color, like a blue to match. That's right. You just have one side. Uh, there you go. Yeah. That's right. There you go. So this was my experiment today, and I thought, you know, why not show the other side so you people, you know, have sure. have an idea of what I'm doing, because if it turns out, you can all do it, and it would be a cool project, maybe to give somebody for Christmas or you know, keep for yourself or whatever. But I'm going to have Phil show you what else I'm doing. She's and, been having um, some fun today. She's kind of a, a funsy thing. She's been making coasters in sets of uh, four. And also... Some of the paintings that she's done over the last few days, they're almost dry dry now so that she can varnish, varnish them. And resin varnish them on them. the weekend. And, right. Here's another set of four coasters that she did today. Very, very pretty and and soft and unique. And they the coloration is, is for the same for the whole Four or all four of them. Um, then well, she, she did this uh, little painting for the fun of it. So she's been having a lot of a lot of fun doing other little things besides doing. I I just ran into the stuff that was holding up the purse and that almost went all over the place. But you would have um, been in big trouble, Phil. Well, well, hey. You would have had to do one. Yeah. Your next thing is a, a purse. purse. No, I gotta you, do a purse. That's right, you can do a purse. But anyways, if you'd like to um have me do a video on coasters, let me know because I mean I'm more than willing to do a video and show you how exactly how to do them and everything. They're they're a lot of fun. Um the last set I did has um quite a few cells in it, which is really kind of cool. And the other ones, you know, they kind of look like flowers, and you don't know until you start doing them. But if any of you would like to know, leave a comment for me, and um, we'll see what happens. So, until the next time, bye! Let's take another last look at the purse. It's really turning out very nicely. How long does this have to dry? You think, a well, days? I let the other side dry for three days, so we'll All let right. this dry, and maybe by the weekend, uh, when we do those other ones, maybe by the weekend we can uh, resin it and see what happens. Okay. So until then, bye!